I hate making characters, and there is no way I can make characters like this. Go for Creative 4. So I kind of just want to show you how this tool works. So we're just going with a flat base mesh, and we're going to kind of build on top of it. Now coming over into the character, we're going to have that selected. Oops, sorry, I'm going to pause it. We can come into the sliders, and then we've got full control over the head. Now I do have headshots. I've actually got a few extra sliders specifically for the face. And so I've got a whole bunch of sliders that I can deal with over the right hand side. Now this list is quite big. Um, but for instance, if I want to make him bigger, we've got Ike. <laughs> we can make him bigger. No, that's too much, man. Body tone, we can give him some more tone. Uh, we might bring that down. I mean, we can make him Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> or for those of you who've been around my channel long enough, we know, what's his name? The lich, oh, yes, cannolis. Mm. But we can go into kind of like the granular sections of specifically, like let's go to the waist. We can change the size of the abdomen. What's this? The abs. And kind of go through muffin top. <laughs> you know, and these are the kinds of things that we can do. We can ultimately evolve and build our own character. But more importantly, would be the face. This is what is I reckon the most difficult. But this is why I have no intention of ever learning character creation because there's tools like this out here which can just bypass all my learning needs because I don't need it. Now, the characters are all completely rigged as well, as in uh, shape keys, armature, and textured as well, which is more important. So kind of just going through here, we can go ahead and really update the character however we want, round face. <laughs> and then specifically we even go down to kind of like eye sizes and um, what do we got cheeks nose mouth jaw really do a whole bunch with the facials to bring them all out i do have quite a few hairstyles and obviously we, very quickly we can apply them um, there is some tutorials as well on how to create your own hairs within blender for instance and bring them across that mo is so dirty and depending on how depth you want to go, we can go individual um, like assets on the face. That hair looks delicious. And you can export it into Blender, Unreal Engine, even if you want it into Scummy Unity. Um, alternatively, you can go into NVIDIA Omniverse as well. If we have a look at clothes wise, um, I believe this stuff is the default assets. We can throw a shirt on him. Mate, have some pants, <laughs> denim shorts. Give him actual pants, I reckon. Give him some nice sneakers, and like that, we have created a character. I don't know how long is this video. I've been recording for six minutes, but that's kind of like everything. We can also go down into a little bit more of the granular as well, so we don't actually have to export it into Blender to do some editing on the actual mesh. So for instance, if I were to pick this shirt, we can come into here, we can go into modify, we can go into edit mesh. And this, this is where we can do kind of like soft selection, which is the proportional editing tool in Blender. Select one of the faces, there we go. And then we can click and drag and move the clothes around to realign however we wanna do it. These characters as well do have the ability to be, uh, to have physics activated on the characters. And because the characters are all rigged up the same, that means the animations from Reillusions library, or even if you bring animations from external and bring it in onto these characters, they all go together, which is absolutely amazing. Now, if you want to get this, there is a link in the description if you want to help me out. I have acquired a Rococo suit, so stay tuned.